Hey Islam guys, welcome to my channel. It's been over a year since I picked up my camera or made a YouTube video so there is a bunch of things I would like to catch you guys up on. So I hope you guys are comfortable because it's going to be a long one. Let's get into the video. So one of the first things I would like to share with you guys is that I am now a hijabi and I am finally ready to have taken on this transformation. And it happened, I would say, about, it's going in for a year now. Um, for the last couple of years, I was dressing more modestly. And I think it was about time, the beginning of this year, to fully transform into a hijabi. So if you guys don't know, Muslims are meant to cover their ora. So ora is your private sections. And this section, basically, for women, includes the hair. So hence the scarf. I think for some of us we do take a little bit longer before we are able to fully, fully commit and I think it took me way too long. I think I should have just trusted my gut and also been more obedient in Sharia law. So I'm happy that I've finally gotten to this point where I want to adorn my hijab and I want to be a better um, slave to Allah so some of the things that I wanted to share is just how different life has been with me wearing my hijab so I was in public it just feels completely different I have different interactions with people beautiful interactions with people I just feel a sense of respect that is coming my way um, for a long time I think that I struggled with is just the the change from where I was and where I am right now so I think it's not like I was dressing like extremely badly or anything like that it was always a bit more modest to especially what we see on social media today but I think one of the biggest things for me is my hair um, I always had a lot of hair always had long hair and I've always been someone to color my hair so it was the whole mermaid waves and all the different colors that I've had from red to blue to green to purple to everything and I think initially when I decided that I'm going to start wearing my hijab that I definitely felt like I was gonna miss that um, just from my idea of what beauty meant and I think the western world says that a woman's beauty lies in her hair um, I think I believed that for a very very long time and with that belief I think that adorning my hijab I felt not beautiful I don't want to say I felt ugly of course but um, I definitely felt a different a different way of understanding beauty a different understanding of what I thought beauty was so I think that was a little bit of a struggle for me but I think knowing why you're doing it and understanding the beauty behind wearing a hijab and only really showing your hands and your face um, I think it makes such a big difference in people's interactions with you so I definitely feel a, a greater sense of respect um, and not just the obvious things of how people respect me but for example not being accessible for people to just touch you um i think the fact that a person would meet me for the first time and be like is it okay for me to shake your hand whereas i think before it was like people would just think it's okay to just touch people um or the way that they look at you doesn't feel quite as dirty um i think everything in the way that i carry myself to the way that i speak to every part of my interaction in my day-to-day -day is different people definitely um, have reached out um, like some of my cousins some of my friends saying how proud they are of me and it's been such a cool experience to understand that there are people that admire that part of you that you didn't really have um, yes people would admire you but there was a lot of lust tied to that um, I think that my also like my following or my readers have also moved to a more female driven um, 
following as opposed to a male drone following. Um, it definitely feels as though I'm more seen um, for who I am rather than what I look like and that has been the biggest transformation for me. Um, I think I feel very protected in my hijab and I feel like feeling respect and feeling admiration and feeling um, that sense of someone's being like someone's proud of you um, makes you want to change who you are um, for the better of course so definitely been an incredible experience for me one of my challenges that I had that I think took me a long time to actually get on with the transformation was my gym life <laughs> I think some of you who follow me on social media who followed me on my YouTube knows the adventurous soul that I have and how much I love the gym and working out and being active and I could not understand how or I couldn't grasp how that would affect me if should I be in hijab um, my biggest concern was obviously what do I wear to the gym I'm always getting really hot when running or um, in cardio sessions the hijab just does not stay put um, I was always wearing my little matching outfits and doing all these things but I think it also makes you seem slightly larger if you are obviously covering or wearing a size bigger or an oversized um, piece of clothing you definitely feel a little bit bigger but you're obviously hiding your shape so that was something I needed to adjust to but now wearing leggings and an oversized t-shirt um, and my hijab uh, I've never felt more comfortable and I can actually work out properly and not think about what I look, I look like so I think the focus has definitely been better which is crazy to me and then secondly one of my biggest challenges was what do I wear when I swim so being the person that I am we're still doing backflips and front flips and diving and doing all these weird little tricks underwater and wearing a burkini was a challenge because of course it hides your shape but not just that it's just like you like the, my cap or my hijab will fall off all the time while I'm swimming and it was almost like what's the point if it's gonna fall off anyway but there are solutions I've definitely come to find over the last couple of months so things have definitely become easier and I think the things that was challenging or that kept me from becoming a hijabi um, were those things and it's it's like they've just worked themselves out I would definitely love to share um, more on my hijab journey and what I wear to the gym or what I wear to swim if you want to see that please leave a comment in the comment section and I would definitely make a video for you guys so yeah let me know just a quick update on work and studies I am in my final year of varsity which is insane to me I think if you guys have been following me on social media and my YouTube channel from way back when um, you guys would have known when I started studying and uh, my reservations and just the nerves of everything like trying to study again after so many years it has been going well I think it's just about prioritizing my time and actually getting to studying which is the biggest challenge but other than that I think it's been going well work I've been moved to a new team so I have been very busy lately I absolutely love my new team I think I just feel so much more comfortable and happy with where my career is heading so a little family update there's been a lot of ups and downs in the family so I thought I'll share with you guys a uh, Duke I don't know why I'm starting with Duke but he had an operation not too long ago he is on the mend I think you guys know about his struggles when it comes to his cancer he had a growth on his cheek but they have now removed it surgically and he looks to be getting on really nicely my mom also just had a surgery uh, yesterday actually and she is recovering well alhamdulillah um, 
yeah lots of health scares up and down um throughout the last year and a bit um so much has happened but uh, i think that if you guys would like to have a more in-depth chat about family and just catching up with you guys then please let me know in the comments and i will definitely provide you with that um but to not make this video too long um i have one more update so we so the family edition that i was talking about um is um someone got married um i can't believe i'm married um this is such a crazy update to tell you guys because you guys know me from before and i have never been the person to want to get married and start a family and settle down and all that it was always just it was always just me living my best life and chasing my career and my dreams and my aspirations and i think i'm open to the idea of doing all of that with having a partner with me and he's been my partner in crime and it has just been such an incredible journey um it's been exactly a month today so i am super excited to introduce you guys to my husband still feels a little strange to say that um but i am super excited for you guys to meet him okay guys are you ready to meet my husband this is sadik salam guys <laughs> I am the one and only Sadiq David, <laughs> and this is my beautiful wife. I'm organic, also. <laughs> also, in Islam, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Muslims as partners don't live together until they're married. So, with us getting married, we are obviously living together. And we have made so many incredible changes. Um, if you follow me on social media, you guys would know that I moved into my little home a little bit over a year ago. And we have absolutely transformed this place. You guys would have seen on Reels. You guys would have seen on Shorts on YouTube. Just on social media itself, there's just been so many little videos where we've done before and after videos. Or little changes that we've done. And I'm super excited to share with you guys how much of that we've done ourselves. And just when if it comes down to the ideas, the Pinterest boards and the costs and the carpenters we used or the plumbers that we used. If you guys are interested in seeing an in-depth renovations video, please leave a comment. Let me know and we will definitely do that because we are so proud of our little space, our little oasis and i am excited for you guys to just be on the journey with us and experiencing all these things with us because it has been such a ride <laughs> okay so basically we're gonna do a q a question and answers on our relationship a little bit and if you guys want more of this you guys have to comment like and subscribe please <laughs> We need the likes. You know, we're very likable people, so I'm sure we'll get along, you know. Okay, so first question, where did we meet? At work. We met at work. It was this beautiful sunny day <laughs> and the view was fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. So what was your first impression of me? I was like, yes, this girl is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, it was beautiful meeting an amazing person. But I wasn't interested though, but she was hot though. And I was like, yes. You weren't interested? No. <laughs> okay, what was our first date? Our first date, we went to George Ezra's um, concert at Grand West. Okay. It's lovely. So when did you meet my family? Like a few months after I met you. How did you meet them mom. and how was it? Well, I met the mom, you know, for the first time at the house. I was coming in there looking all fresh, you know, <laughs> from work. And her mommy wanted uh, donuts. So I was like, you know, it's a good impression getting some lovely <laughs> donuts. <laughs> I got the favorite donuts at the time and then I came to visit. It 
It was lovely. It was very much of love. And my sister and the boys? Well, I met them on your birthday. True. Actually, yeah. I was it months on, later? Like a few months later. But I met them through video call, you know. Take note today is up. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, what do we argue about the most? Um, who loves who more? <laughs> So I love her more than she loves me because I mean look at her. She's beautiful all over. <laughs> so oh my God. Yeah. Okay, moving right along. How long wait no. What is hmm, hmm. Name something that I don't like food wise. Uh she doesn't like tomatoes. Do you? I also doesn't. Okay, don't what like else? Tomatoes. Um She's not a fan of pies. I think it's because of the pastry. Mm -hmm. And licorice. Licorice. We both, yeah. we both. Yeah, <laughs> it's so crazy like to me. Licorice, but she likes raisins, and I don't like raisins. Yeah. So you maybe get her. What is my shoe size? A shoe size is a four. It's <laughs> four. Um. Adult four. What? Or who? made our relationship as strong as it was where I learned to trust you? Um, Duke is a bit... <laughs> my a child, my child. <laughs> a child, sorry. A bit. Duke, a child, has made our relationship much stronger because I'm a lover of dogs, you know, and I always wanted a dog in my life because it's like such a good animal to have. In your life so friendly you know okay what is my eye color um it's blue <laughs> <laughs> i'm joking it's this beautiful brown turns different colors now and then it depends on the mood so yeah mostly brown okay yeah. um what is something that i do that you wish i didn't do um nothing Nothing? Which you didn't do. Mm. It's actually um, not much, eh? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> you can't say it in front of me. Um, okay, fair. Is, uh, mm. Okay, who is my best friend? Um, me. No, who's actually my best friend? Um, me again. <laughs> no. <laughs> A sister, I think. You think? Yeah. That is shit. Cast in stone. This is the relationship she wants to start. <laughs> what do you guys think? Please comment below. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do some more Q&A's again another time. I think for right now, if you could tell us about the proposal. The proposal was... Bye! Bye! <laughs> Hi, salam guys, it's me again, uh, Sadiq David, Tasneem's husband. So basically today we're going to do the proposal and I'm telling you guys all about it. So um, from the get-go, uh, basically we, I went to fetch the ring and I got it all made and everything like that. She had uh, nothing to do with that she didn't know anything about the ring or anything so basically on the day it was i think it was a friday arranged for a horse ride on water beach on that day i got everything you know all of those things the flowers and the lights everything and i was running out of time though because we supposed to be the like by 4 p.m. We came there a bit late. Our ride on the horses <laughs> got cancelled. So basically, it was like the downfall of this whole proposal. Like, and then I phoned the, the guys from the horse and North to come, like, yo, can we arrange another date as soon as possible? Like, okay, uh, how's Monday sounding? So I was like, okay, cool, no, Monday will be good. And then um, Monday came. I went to Nuatuk, lovely early this time, nice and early, 
because I'm a person I'm always early not really um, yeah so basically um, I got there and we went to get the horse yeah, they took us on the beach I mean I told the guys before listen here you guys need to set up all the stuff here the pillows the blankets um, the lights the roses all of those things so they're like no shop we're going to do it and everything and then uh, we were riding along the beach you know it was basically a sunset ride on the beach um, so we're riding up 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 long it's not a beach so it's long beach riding straight up and then we're coming back down um, also the guy turned and he came back and Dustin was thinking like why am I like riding along alone so I went there set up out and everything and then she came there um, with a guy now he had a guide with us and then he came and he took her there I jumped off my horse you know like it was one of those you know cool jumps of the horse <laughs> and then um, yeah I got down on my knee I proposed to her and the setup was really good it was lovely it was lovely and yeah that is when the proposal happened I asked her to marry me and she said yes so that's why we married today because she said yes cool. but yeah. as I talk about the wedding also yeah, yeah. about the wedding day yeah. oh, you're not going to talk about it okay. Okay. We'll so please like subscribe and share and don't forget to follow peace out okay guys so i am yet to watch the video back to hear what he said i hope it's all good <laughs> um so basically our wedding day was incredible for me i don't know how it was for you it was lovely you know it was very really lovely but yeah it was amazing and i can't wait for Tasneem to tell you about it because you know she speaks quiet <laughs> so basically we're waiting for the photographer and the videographer to send us all of their goodies but i think just the idea of the wedding being super intimate and super beautiful and meaningful just more like a clip malay wedding the old dates the wedding out that's wedding where they have the nikah and after the nikah they will have you know a nice reception with the whole family interacting with the kids and everyone with yeah. the kids running wild <laughs> like wild to like thinking what is going on yeah because i think you know, not like before i think like or rather recently people would not invite you with your kids and i think we wanted mm. to include the kids which was it was chaotic it was, it was, it was basically, it was good, you got that feel of that kid melee, you know, kids running around, playing that nice slow jams, mm. everybody eating, and everybody interacting with one another. <laughs> so, no, it was lekker. May you find your soulmates, and may it be the most incredible inshallah. time and chapter of your lives, inshallah. Um, happy life, happy wife. Happy wife, happy life. Okay guys, so we want to share with you guys about our honeymoon, which was amazing. It was such an adventure. The best adventure for, you know, spending our time to be alone, traveling alone and um, halal, you know. <laughs> so it's quite liquor. Plus you get to know somebody once you travel with him, once you stay with him. And I got to know Tasneem very well through that time. It was lovely. <laughs> He's a man of very few words, but uh, we had such an adventure. We went on so many amazing uh, trips, uh, day trips, and it was, it was just so beautiful. We definitely want to go back. Yeah, we definitely, definitely want, want to go, go back. back. It's those Blittenberg is amazing. I mean, there's so many things to do, but it's more of a summer place 
Yeah, I think for the ocean and stuff. I think it was nice to dip down on the things we wanted to do yeah. in winter. It wasn't too cold and you can see us wrapping our bonafide merch the entire trip. Yeah, yeah. Um, it was amazing. But definitely um, want to go back and go and do more adventures, especially the ocean adventures. Yes. And what the also hiking, the hiking, the canyon, Kango Caves. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of things we still want to do, but we're going to make another video talking about all of our, our adventures in Platenburg. So you guys definitely look out for that. It's going to be super cool. Uh, the video would probably be something to do with the cool things you can do in Platenburg. Um, yeah. And we're definitely going to add a bunch of our things there. So check that out. From the wedding day to the proposal day. Mm. Like the wedding was crazy though, right? Well, the weather was also beautiful that day. Because it's like so. the day, the days leading up to the wedding, yeah. raining, miserable, cold, windy. Then the days wet. after the wedding, immediately the rainy, same. crazy, and our day was just so but thankfully beautiful. Because it's just sunlight. Mm. It was just absolutely beautiful on the wedding day. That and then Plettenberg. Plettenberg was also amazing, but they said it was like wet, cold, windy in Cape Town, and we were like. What are you talking what about? What are you talking about? <laughs> where are you staying, you know? Yeah. Because uh, the weather was beautiful. It was like 20 degrees, clear, and it was lovely. It's amazing. Because it's our first video, we'd like to do something special. My wife over here will tell you all about <laughs> it. We are partnered with E45 just in time for spring so you can kiss away all that winter bad dry skin and get on to E45 they have an amazing hamper set up for you guys and just to make it extra special they are throwing in a genuine leather what do you call it cosmetic bag with all your products in there and it is so easy for you guys to actually partake in the giveaway so guys, the giveaway is pretty simple. You just head over to the description box where the link to my blog will be there. The competition is there. There's a picture of the giveaway, which is so beautiful. So you guys have to go and check that out. You do need to go onto the social medias of my pages as well as E45's page. And you need to go and follow them, like the post. Also share it with your friends and to your story. And then head over back to the YouTube and say done. In the comments, so I know you guys did that. It's a lot simpler than it sounds. It's quite a mouthful. It's a lot of um, gifts you will get just for doing that little. So if it was me, I would like and subscribe and follow every page that and I comment. can and comment everything you like about us. And, um, and the giveaway is worth giveaway. two thousand rand. So it is really cool. Definitely check it out. We want to do more giveaways in our upcoming videos. So please check that out into the giveaway and you could win a 2,000 Rand hamper from E45 to the thing, guys. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. We are so excited that you are part of the family. <laughs> <laughs> um, guys, please go and buy some merch. The, the link is also in the description box. Go and enter the giveaway, leave some comments and let us know what you guys want to see. Uh, we went through a lot in this video and I know it was really long so also just let us know if you guys enjoy these long videos and if you do we will continue making longer videos if not we will make shorter videos so let us know follow us on social media and do the right thing like subscribe share love you <laughs> so guys go to the description box the link will be there <laughs> Below. <laughs> so guys head to the description box the link is there below be amazing say no you stop uh, go to the description box <laughs> the blog will be there